Not bad. Let's learn that combo. Maybe a couple more. Yo, what's up guys? You're getting here and welcome to a video all about Scorpion. Today I'm going to teach you how to do some of Scorpion's combos. I'm going to have some notations on the screen. If you are unfamiliar with how to read those notations, click the little eye card that comes up there because that'll explain exactly how it goes because if you're unfamiliar with NRS games, you might not know how we do things. Because there are so many different variations and moves that you can put in, I'm going to be doing this combo video off of his two tournament ones, which is Hellish Inferno and Deathly Sting. We're going to start off with Deathly Sting and go into Hellish Inferno. If you enjoy these types of videos or you want to see a specific character, subscribe and leave it in the comments below and I'll make sure to make one of them. So the big thing to his combos is his enhanced teleport, which allows for a launch. Um, now, there's a couple different ways to go into that. You can either start with a 1-1, EX teleport, or amplified teleport, or back 1-4, amplified teleport. Now, the back 1-4 does a little bit more damage, but it's a slower startup. So if you just block something really unsafe from your opponent, yes, that's a great one to start your combo with. Um, if you block something that you don't have a lot of time to punish, you can use the 1-1, which is a 7-frame startup, which if you're unfamiliar with frame data, I will be making a video on that. Uh, so subscribe and all that kind of stuff. So however what you want to start it into the EX Teleport. Then we use our Standing 3, which is that kick right there. There's a slight delay after the Teleport. Very slight. And then into the spear, and if you want, you can either end it there with the spear, or if you have enough meter, you can do uh, extend the combo even further by amplifying the spear. And then, because you're in a combo with eight hits or more, two one two will cause a crushing blow at the end of it. So, if you have everything right, it should look like this. Two hundred and sixty-eight damage. Not too shabby. Uses a lot of resources, so just keep that in mind. It's going to use all of your offensive meter and your fatal blow. But if you need it at the end of the match, it can be a game changer. So in the Hellish Inferno variation, which is the second tournament variation, uh, the combos are pretty much the same, but you're given a different ender. So instead of doing the 2-1-2, uh, two, two, you can do 2-1-2-4. Two, you get damage as an ender. You can still do the 2-1-2 two, two if you want. But this gives you an option to have a different ender without having to use that fatal blow that you might need for later. Or a crushing blow, I mean, sorry. And also, if you want, to end it with... Keep in mind you won't be able to uh, amplify that anymore because you've already used two bars for the rest of the combo, but cool ender and it kind of distances the opponent from you as opposed to the 2-1 right there. So it depends who you're fighting. If you want to leave somebody close, you can use that. If you want to put somebody kind of far away from you, you can do that. So this is important when you're working on your combos. You really want to understand where you want to start and end up with these combos. So always setting yourself up for the next move is just a just good practice so anyways guys i hope you found this video helpful if you did leave a like because it really helps me out and subscribe because we make new videos every single day hashtag big dink energy and we'll see all you guys next video Accept your death.